Yesterday, National Council held a demonstration in the 20th area demanding free and fair elections and freedom to political prisoners. The presenter of the demonstration was the member of National Council, Liberal MP Ibrahim Ibrahim Lee. The chairman of the Popular Front Party, Ali Karim Lee, said that all of the classes of society were represented in the National Council and that Rustam Ibrahim Bekov was nominated as a single candidate of it. We demand fair elections. If the government planned for fair elections, it would never dare to announce that the houses of another 60,000 people were going to be destructed, said Karim Lee. According to him, the present regime ruins education and healthcare, also loses people's wealth. He stated the importance of changing the current situation in the country, but said that the National Council of Democratic Forces is going to achieve this through a peaceful way. Leader of the Musawat Party, Sagambar, said that August has always been a lucky month for national movement in Azerbaijan, such that the establishment of the Popular Front in 1989 and the national movement which began in the August of 1991 led to the fall of the Communist Party and achievement of Azerbaijan's independence. And now the opposition is united to fight against Aliyev's authoritarian regime. We are going to support the single candidate Rustam Ibrahim Bekov till the end, said Gambar. At the same time, according to him, the National Council will make other decisions too. Another member of the intellectuals will be nominated for candidacy during National Council session on Monday. Or, Rustam Ibrahim Bekov's offer about the nomination of multiple candidates for choosing the single candidate by voting in the last stage could be accepted. The leader of the movement, El Eldar Namazov, said that the National Council will preserve its integrity and achieve victory. After this, the young demonstrators shouted slogans demanding the resignation of Ilham Aliyev. Each time such slogans were shouted, the electricity supply to the tribune was stopped. The rally ended with the adoption of a resolution which demanded conduction of free and fair elections release of political prisoners and creating necessary conditions for the return of Rustami Ibrahim Bekov to the country and his nomination of candidacy. The document also urged the president to provide clarification on his family members' offshore businesses, to punish the corrupt public officials and to stop violation of property rights. A group of women who were mothers of soldiers who died in non-combat circumstances were stopped by the police and driven away in a bus. They were blamed for holding up their son's photos at the rally.